Hi guys, welcome to the Crystal Grid reading for the day. I hope you're doing well. So the Crystal Grid is the energy that is sort of felt collectively and um, it isn't right or wrong. It is energy and the energy um, that is general and sort of collective is felt or expressed through um, the tarot reading. So let's see here. What is coming up for the crystal grid reading today? And tarot is timeless, so even if it doesn't resonate now, it may resonate later. So we have this six of coin on the bottom, balance. There's some kind of mitigating of the scales. Okay. What are the messages here for this crystal grid? What needs to be seen or recognized? Fear, worry, concerns, mental activity, losing sleep at night, not having peace or rest, an agitated mind, Okay, so I'm going to put this off to the side. We don't have anything else popping, so I'm going to cut this. Instead of making you all sit through my shuffling. <laughs> Moon. Mysterious events, things that involve things that are unseen or unknown. It can be fear or um, anything that's hidden, the psychological mind. Cool. Okay, so we have liberation, freedom, fresh starts, new beginnings, new chapters, taking the leap of faith, but it's really about a new journey. Letting something go, burdens are lifted off your shoulders. The king of water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Somebody who could be highly emotional, intense feelings, intense emotions. The devil. We have some kind of toxic energy going on underlying the emotions and the feelings. We have this night of water in the recent past. Somebody could have come towards you with an invitation or a romantic gesture. Nine of Wands, feeling like a wounded warrior, like you almost want to give up. Justice, fairness, balance, equality, divorces, court legal matters. Could be coming up here. I think you're tired of a person. There, It's too stressful for you. I feel like there's a person here who um, doesn't want to fix themselves. Like they're a king of water and the devil just so emotional it's like there's something here that's about intense feelings and emotions and then there's this energy you'll be aware of someone who feels just wounded or exhausted justice is coming into the future though wow six of coin is here as you compensating helping to balance out a situation maybe even paying Taurus energy of money things generosity high priestess Spiritual, the person here could be hiding things, um, not in a nefarious way, they just are distancing themselves. There could be a secret. Six of Wands is what you're hoping for. Victories, overall success, good energy is what the viewer here has got. Underlying the energy, though, is something more difficult. 
Two of Pentacles. You're wanting to maintain balance. But balanced emotions, balanced finances, balanced thinking. You're wanting to main, maintain balance when there's a very emotional situation. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, masculine, adult. Queen of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone compassionate, showing love and care and concern. And then another person here feels left out in the cold, abandoned. Two of Wands, energy of feeling like I can't go on like this. There's something toxic underlying a situation or three of swords. There's a painful either separation or breakup because one person feels like they aren't getting what they want or something like that. But with the high priestess, they could be hiding things. So what is the high priestess? Manipulation. Okay, so if somebody is saying... I'm not getting what I want out of a situation and they distance themselves. That's just manipulation, mind games. That's just mind games. Okay, so nine of wands, the warrior, persevering, feeling like you almost want to quit. main energy is the fool breaking free liberation new journeys leaps of faith now it could be that there's a love coming in towards you it doesn't have to be negative the devil can be um lust or temptation could be a sagittarius man could be a gemini but to me it looks like you want to get out of a situation what is the justice about here? What is the justice about three of water? There could be, um, this person maybe doesn't want to be in a committed relationship. What is the nine of wands? Or maybe you don't. Ten of swords. A lot of stress, but something's about to come to a conclusion. What is the devil? Ten of pentacles. Long-term financial commitments, money, wealth, great abundance. Obsessed with material items. We have a king and a queen of pen... Uh, I'm sorry, emperor and empress. And a, we have a power couple underlying all this. So there's some negative energy. One person's paying six of one, six of pentacles, which is the viewer, and the other person is aloof and manipulates. So that's kind of strange. What is the two of coin? What is the two of coin and the temperance? What is the two of coin? Two of coin is the outcome is kind of strange. That's like, I'm juggling, I'm managing, I'm making everything work. Three of wands, very focused on the future. Maybe even ignoring someone. So... Eight of Swords, Fear and Worry. What is the what is coming into the awareness here? Star card. Okay. There's gonna be hope for the future and healing. Letting go of something that doesn't serve you. A release. What is the devil and the ten of coin? Obsessed with finances, obsessed with money. Um, or a very negative, <laughs> look, the devil. Okay, so the devil represents 
Saturn in the excess. So Saturn rules over Capricorn, so that's why they always say the devil's Capricorn. The planet Saturn represents discipline, achievement. If there's discipline in the excess, that is cruelty and oppression. The devil can also be lust, which would be like in the excess as well. So underlying this is like some kind of a cruelty or there's negativity. Justice does come into the future. What is justice here? Okay, Ten of Cups. The happily ever after. It will work out. Um, with the star means it will improve. What is the Six of Pentacles? Right now it's about balance. Seven of Cups. What is the outcome here of two of pentacles, the chariot? Forward movement, very fast forward movement. A victory, determination, refusing to give up. What is the chariot? King of Wands again, right here. King of Wands and King of Wands. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is taking action, maybe? Moving on. We have Aries energy with the Emperor. What is the King of Wands? What is the King of Wands about? The King of Water. A highly emotional, sensitive, intuitive person. Six of Swords. Moving on. Releasing something that isn't working. What is Ten of Water? What is Ten of Water? Oops. Okay. So a lot of you, it's walking away from a committed situation. Either a job or a relationship that is not good. Um... What is Six of Swords? Ooh, there might be a new love coming in for many of you with the lovers. Could be a person from your past, um, but it might not be. What is the star? Clarify the star. Hope and healing and release. Fresh beginning, fresh starts. Somebody here brings the drama, like strong words lashing out. So you're having to purify yourself release this energy and even like don't participate in any kind of connection what is eight of cups what is eight of cups two of wands somebody's thinking about how to leave or how to get out we have a queen of water pisces cancer scorpio somebody's compassionate and reaches out Three of Cups. Somebody's got a lot of burdens on their plate as a result of people around them. So the lovers does come in here. What is the lovers? What is the lovers? Ooh, the death card. Scorpio or a change. Something here about a sadness and then things pick up. There could be a lot of messages. If somebody decides to leave a situation, six of coin, they may pay someone. Oh, wow. If somebody feels left out in the cold or financially in a bind, you may decide to help this person and pay for them. Okay, so what are the energies I'm feeling? Um, I'm feeling underneath all of this is the justice. I feel like justice will come out. It will be served. Uh, you know. You may have to leave a situation behind. Or avoid a connection. Star card. Hope and healing. I feel like you can release this. Emotional purification. Purify yourself of a negative person. Chariot. I feel like you can move forward. Move on. 
Eight of Cups. You may have to walk, like, distance yourself. Um, not be in the room. Um, you might have to just go out to the mall, get in your car and drive. It shows another love showing up here with the death. But it could be, I mean, we have here the chariot, or the six of swords, the lo the lovers, and the death, Scorpio. So somebody shows up here. I'm going to put this crystal pyramid on the lovers. I feel like there can be a bond or a union here with someone. You can find happiness. You don't have to be stuck with this devil energy um, that's driving you up the wall. Um, you may have to just avoid a person for a little while. Like, don't participate in conversations with them. Focus on yourself. <sighs> yeah. So this king of water comes in over here. I feel like this is an energy also... The devil is here, but I'm not going to raise that up. I am going to raise up the energy of Ten of Water. I feel like you can find happiness in a different situation, either a different job or even if you just go out by yourself to the mall and have a nice time. Whatever it is you need to do, go to a movie or go for a drive. If there's a person here that is not well mentally, like mental illness, that can be an, a factor. A mental illness, like literally. Um, this person shut off their heart and they just kind of lash out. Um, there's other energies that are around that you can... Um, what do they call it when you... Focus your attention elsewhere. Like, don't give this your attention. Um, I show Eight of Cups, Three of Wands, Chariot. This is like goodbye. Even if you're not leaving the person, because it shows Ten of Cups, ten, ten of Pentacles, you could be in a long-term committed relationship with a person who's mentally ill. And maybe you have to just focus more on you, The star indicates healing. Ten of Swords means it's the end of stress. Um, but Ten of Swords also indicates feeling ruined. Like this person feels like they're ruining you. Like this person is ruining. Ruining maybe even your life. Like this person's ruining your life. So I'm showing here justice will be served. Focus on having fun. So this is my reading. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Please check out my website. I have a lot of new items there. Um, this one's like opaque glass that's very glimmery and real uh, quartz crystal. But you guys are very much appreciated by me, so take care.